Hey, welcome. What an excellent turnout. Good to see some uh, faces we haven't seen for a while and some new faces and the wonderful familiar faces. Anyway, um, wow, what a weekend. Um, I bet you had an amazing weekend too, filled with interesting adventures. The topic we're going to explore this week, and I know that it'll develop as they always do, because they begin as an embryo and then they develop during the week. And I like the fact that the narratives and the themes that we discuss aren't hard and fast. They're allowed to breathe and be organic and expand as uh, our own consciousness does. But in a general sense, it's this, uh, here comes our next amazement. Here comes our next being surprised. Here comes our next astonishment. It's pretty strong language, I, I admit. And yet it's all throughout every world truth teaching that there will be these suddenly breathtaking moments. The word the word rapture comes from the same Latin word as the word raptor, those big scary birds, those owls and vultures and hawks that they swoop down and they uh, grab their prey, their raptors, they pull things up, rapture. So God is going to sweep down and grab us, so to speak, probably better than being a titmouse. But in this case, it's the good kind of rapture where if we're diligent, if we're persistent, if we're, if we're walking upright, if we're trudging the road, then out of the blue, when you least ex expect it, you're going to be raptured up. You're going to be amazed. You're going to be astonished and surprised. And I had one of those experiences over the weekend, and it's I'll talk about it during the week. I'm still letting it percolate and sort of cook inside of me because it's just one of those wowie zowie things. And man, and it generally comes when I'm expecting something much, much different. I'm expecting the usual thing to happen or the or what my mind thinks is going to happen. And surprise and rapture and astonishment is always me being lifted up and shaken out of my mortal mind and seeing the skylight of heaven opens up, so to speak. And I, I see so much more in each and every one. If you're part of this group, your next one is on the way. If it's not happening right now, maybe, maybe we're on the same wavelength and you've had something happen recently or over the weekend where there was an expectation of something and then poof, you're surprised and amazed. A great promise, a great revelation came true. So I just want to start this Monday by setting the groundwork for this. Something amazing, surprising, and astonishing is headed to all of us because we're spiritual beings. And wow, we've come so far on our journey. We've all been alive for a few decades, <laughs> several decades now. I don't know, but we've been at the game for a while. And is it really possible that we can be amazed and surprised, astonished? Is it really possible that God or one of his angels is going to come down and rapture us up to a new level of experience, a, a new freedom and a new happiness, something out of the blue? I truly think that it is. And uh, I'm, I'm always practicing that kind of thought. I'm always setting the groundwork that God, go ahead and amaze me. Go ahead and shine your light on me, go ahead and lift me out of my uh, mortal rut. And so this is on the way for all of us. We can all pray for it. There's nothing more powerful in the universe than group prayer, our like-minded group of friends who are joined together, seeking the highest that we know and willing to continuously march and move and trudge, but sometimes be rocket sled sledded. So be on the lookout for surprise and amazement and astonishment today. Much love to you all, and we'll continue on this theme all week long. I'll see you guys.